Hey everyone, it's Diego Viteri. Welcome to a new video of Viteri Boxing. Today I want to show you one of the key components to win a fight. Most people focus on head hunting and trying to punch in the head, but you forget about the body. And if you punch to the body, the head will fall. So let's begin. The three main reasons why you should punch to the body is number one, it's because it creates openings. Number two, because it breaks the rhythm of your opponent. And number three, of course, because it hurts a lot. But mainly, it's because the, the body is a bigger target. When you are just trying to punch the head, it's easier for your opponent to be sleeping and trying to, to move away from it. But the, but the body is a steel target, so you should always try to aim to the body because it's easier. We will look through different types of body shots. You, you have no excuse to throw punches to the body because you can do it at any distance. So the first punch you can throw at, any, at a, a long distance is the jab to the body. The jab to the body is perfect to break the rhythm of your opponent, to breathe them out, and especially to make them slower because once you take the air out of them, they will become slower and that's, that's easier for you to, to punch them or if they are, if they are aggressive, they will just slow down and it's going to be easier for you to slip any punch and catch them. So the first thing is to do the same thing as the jab, to do a little step, but you have to lower your level and align your shoulder to the body. So you throw and you move, you throw and you move. You, one example of this is Floyd Mayweather against uh, Maidana. Marcos Maidana is an aggressive fighter, he's always moving forward and you can see how Mayweather sticks his jab to the body and he breaks the rhythm and makes Maidana slower. The second punch we're going to throw to the body is another straight shot and it's going to be the cross to the body. But the main difference with this shot is that it is harder to move away from it. You've noticed that whenever you are sparring and you try to throw a, a cross to the body, it's really hard to move away from it. You, you feel like you're stuck in the same spot. So make sure to try to move out an angle because moving, moving in a straight line backwards, it's too slow and it's easy for your opponent to counter. So make sure that when you are throwing your shot and lowering your level, you go with all your bo the body weight and after that, Take advantage of your, of your right arm. As soon as you pull your, your arm, you roll under, under, and that will take you out of any risk. It's a great, great shot with a lot of power, especially if you go uh, to the solar plexus, as you can see here in the video with Naoya Inoue. A drill you can do at home is to use five pound dumbbells, but these dumbbells are not made, not made to, to move uh, all of your punches or throw all of your punches fast. Yeah, the reason why I'm using a heavier dumbbell is so it makes me actually slower and I can focus on, on the technique that each punch is perfectly executed and that I throw to the body as well because most of the times people shadow box and they're always head hunting. So make sure you use body punches and move all, the, all, all directions. see the rear hook to the body. The rear hook to the body is a great weapon against any fighter, especially because normally the traditional stance, your elbow is away from your body. So normally when you throw the rear hook, it will land, it will still land to any of your opponents. So it's a great way when you're sparring to throw the jab or maybe just to measure your opponent and then throw the rear hook to the body because it will it's easy to land because most people have this traditional stance. Even if you are in a close, in a close position, you can still, you can still punch to the, to the side of your opponent's ribs. You can throw a, a rear hook and then it creates an opening perfectly for an uppercut. Especially this is a good combination that Mike Tyson uses. 
Another hook you can throw to the body is the left hook to the body, also known as the lever hook. I'm not going into detail with the lever hook because I did a whole video and I strongly suggest if you didn't watch that video to go and see it. Normally with the lever hook you can throw it at two different distances. At the long range you have to throw your shoulder back, you have to turn your hips to land to your opponent and you can also throw from a uh, half arm distance where is the best way to throw it and you can land land to the uh, to the lever once you land to the lever as you know the fight is almost always over and last but not least are the inner cuts inner cuts are called inner cuts because they go through the body through your opponent's body they go in they go through the body it's like you stab your opponent they are different from the uppercut of course because the, the main goal of the uppercut is to is to raise your opponent's head the main point of, the, of this is to raise your opponent's head. The inner cut point, uh, whole point is to go in, go through your opponent's solar plexus. So it's a great, great shot because it's really sneaky. You are fighting with your opponent in the short range and you go to the body. As you can see in this video with Naoi Noe, you have to align yourself as he does with a little shuffle so he can create that distance and then he can go with the inner cut to the body. So you have to always make sure that you have the proper alignment from your, uh, your fist, your, your wrist and the elbow have to be in the same line. You have to go through your opponent in the same line in order to have power. I cannot go in, that, in this way, going with a curb here because it will only damage my, my wrist and it's not gonna have power. So make sure to use little, little, little shuffles to position yourself and you can connect inner cuts with any of uh, your arms. You can go with the left inner cut or the right inner cut. And now a drill that you can work at home to practice your inner cuts are using shoes. Shoes are always gonna help you as a reference to know if you are aligned to connect the inner cut or not. Always make sure you start with the front foot aligned and from this position you can land the left, le the left inner cut with no, with no problem. You can just throw the, the, the inner cut. One thing I like about the inner cut that is that even if I land this and even if I close my eyes, I can still land the uppercut. It's just a matter of anatomy that if I, if I land this, this hook to the body or this inner cut to the body, the uppercut is also gonna land. So if you're gonna work the right one, I cannot throw it from this way because it's not in a straight line. I have to do a little shuffle to the left and from here I'm aligned and I can throw it. So if I wanna throw the left, I go this way and then I throw the right one from one side to the other. Remember that the key to win a fight is to always punch to the body. The body is a bigger target and is more still than the head. So don't waste energy trying to headhunt and go to the body because it's gonna help you a lot to win more fights. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment below. Don't forget to share, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next week.